Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 o. Thank you for tuning in to another video. If you're in the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So today we have a 2024 Mustang with the brand new Sync 4 system and we're going to be showing you how to connect your phone to the Sync 4 system available on your 2024 Mustang. It does come with the Sync 4 system. I'm going to have an in-depth video covering everything that you need to know about the Sync 4 system. And mind you, I have to say this is a base model Mustang. But having just the both screens like the Sync 4 system here and your digital dad, which is fully customizable, is a really good option. But today we're going to be talking about how you can connect your phone on your Sync 4 system. And so when you start your car, you're going to have this as your default main screen. This is going to be your home screen, basically, which I like how Ford has laid this one out because you've got the audio and the phone, two of the most important things that people end up using their infotainment system for. If this is not what pops up on your main screen, you can press the home button right here and it will pop up with this. So you have all the option with the settings, the features and the apps, but today we're gonna focus strictly on how to connect your phone with your 2024 Mustang. So there's two ways about it really. Once you got your home screen set up, you can obviously go from the connect phone here if you don't have a phone already, or you can go from settings. So let me show you both ways. So here, if you're in settings, you're gonna click settings right here and it has basically this option where you have two different layers. The first layer is gonna have the phone list option as well. So this is your setting. If you click on here, you're gonna have all the phones that have been connected previously with this Mustang. So you can scroll down, you can delete it too. If you go to phone settings, you don't want some, some phone here. So let's say if I don't want this phone, I can press delete here and it's gonna remove this phone from here. Now, if we go back to the connection option, these are all the phones that have been previously connected that haven't been removed. So if I wanna add a phone, I'm gonna go ahead and click add phones. This is gonna be the same option. So let me just show you, if you go back to the home screen, this is the main screen again. If you click connect phone, it brings you to the same menu. So if you have your home screen set up where it displays a different panel, you can get to it from the settings. But in this case, since I have it configured where I do have the connect phone here, I can just press this. I get into the same menu. So now we're gonna go ahead and click add phone here. Of course, make sure that the Bluetooth is connected. The good thing about this 2024 Mustang, this is a base model, so I don't have wireless charging here, but if you do offer the premium one, you're gonna have wireless charging. So no longer you have to kind of worry about these cables. You can just plug your phone with the Bluetooth and it's gonna be charging wirelessly if you drop it right here. All right, so in order to connect your phone, we're gonna go ahead and press add phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And once you kind of hear this prompt, you have to go to your phone settings and open up the Bluetooth. So this is what you're gonna be searching for. It's gonna say Ford Mustang. All right, so in this case, we're using an iPhone. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the settings. We're gonna make sure the Bluetooth is on. And then we're gonna make sure we can find Ford Mustang right here. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on Ford Mustang on our phone. It's gonna take a minute for it to connect and you will hear a prompt with the pin number that's gonna pop up on your Sync 4 menu. Confirm that the pin displayed on Sync matches the pin displayed on your device. So here you can see Red 50, which is my phone's name, is trying to connect with the Ford Mustang and this is the pin number. So this is very critical because you wanna make sure the pin number matches what you have on your phone. So here we can see the pin number matches 933-748. Again, 933-748. So we're gonna go ahead and click yes from here. And once you've connected, once you've selected Please pairing, safety. it's gonna be Please confirmed. Alert to changing road and then you can enable this 911 assist if features. you want to. Well, you can basically well, toggle it on and off. And just hit finish. And that's it. You can see the Red 5 is connected now and this basically tells you it can take calls and can play music too. And if it was actually playing music right now, currently you can see the audio is off. This would also be highlighted yellow or orange. And again, if you want to remove this phone, you would go into the phone settings again and just click the delete and you can remove it. There's some additional settings too once your phone is connected. If you tap here, you can set a bunch of different information. Basically, you can look at your contacts if your contacts are synced. You can also set ringtones depending on who your contacts are. So you can set different ringtones as well. You can do the text messaging, which is pretty cool. And it will even give you a low battery notification from your phone, which I think is a very useful information to have. So guys, there you have it on how to connect your phone, whether you've got an iPhone or an Android 
to your 2024 Mustang or any Sync 4 system, really. This is very useful, and especially if you've got a GT Premium or EcoBoost Premium, you've got wireless charging, so you can connect the iPhone with the Bluetooth have the wireless charging going on so you don't have to worry about any of the wires hanging in your car i hope you guys find this video to be helpful if you did make sure you smash that like button and comment below what do you think about the new sync 4 system on the ford vehicles and as always subscribe to red 50 for more videos